Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday the 27th of July. PM Modi takes a dig at opposition alliance high decibel unrest continues in parliament. US officials to meet Taliban in Doha to discuss economy rights issues. And Shia community in Kashmir takes out Muharram procession after three decades. And now for all the details. Launching a scathing attack against the opposition alliance INDIA, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday termed the naming as an attempt to cover up their past deeds under a new label. Addressing a public rally in Rajasthan, he said if the opposition alliance had really cared about India, they would not have asked for an interference in internal affairs. Recalling slogans of Quit India, PM Modi said today's slogan is Corruption Quit India and Appeasement Quit India. जैसे गांधी जी ने फिट इंडिया का मंत्र दिया था वैसे ही आज का मंत्र है भ्रष्टाचार फिट इंडिया भ्रष्टाचार छोड़ो इंडिया परिवारवाद फिट इंडिया परिवारवाद छोड़ो इंडिया तुष्टिकरण Quit India, Tushti Karan, Chodo India, Quit India hi, Desh ko bachayega, Aur Desh ko viksit Bharat banayega. Meanwhile, the parliamentary business continued to be paralyzed for the fourth day this week as lawmakers from the government and opposition parties remained at loggerheads over discussion on the Manipur violence. There was high decibel unrest, especially during Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar's statement in Rajya Sabha as slogan airing by the opposition superseded his remarks. The opposition alliance, adamant for the PM statement on Namanipur, has said that government has adopted a dictatorial attitude and is diverting the attention from the issue. Moving on, the floods in India's Assam state have also taken a toll on the wildlife in the Kaziranga National Park, where the deluge has claimed lives of at least nine animals, including two one-horned rhinos. At least nine animals, including two one-horned rhinoceros, deer and wild buffaloes, have died after water from swollen Brahmaputra River flooded the famous Kaziranga National Park in India's Assam this week. Large portions of the park have been submerged. However, water levels have started to recede, a forest official said. Heavy rains in Assam earlier this month inundated swathes of farmlands and villages, forcing thousands of villagers to flee from their homes and shift to roads and higher lands. So far, the flood uh, water has been receding. It is in uh, downward trend right now. Uh, we are also monitoring the situation. If there is any emergency situation arises, we will also initiate uh, our highway management measures. And uh, so far, uh, in uh, during flood, uh, we have had uh, death of nine animals. Meanwhile, hundreds of vehicles were submerged in a commercial neighborhood in northern Noida city near New Delhi after the Hinden River overflowed. Residents also found it difficult to commute on Wednesday after heavy rains poured the national capital region, leading to heavy water logging in some areas that further caused traffic snarls. Moving on, Pakistan's finance minister Ishak Dar had said on Thursday that China has rolled over a $2.4 billion loan to Islamabad for a period of two years, a move aimed at helping the country overcome one of its worst economic crises. Dar on Twitter said Pakistan will make interest payments only over the next two years, meaning the waiver is only for the principal loan amount. Pakistan's fragile foreign exchange reserves are still only enough to pay the import bill for a period of two months. It earlier secured a last gasp of $3 billion IMF bailout in June. This was followed by a further $2 billion of financial support from Saudi Arabia and $1 billion from the UAE. The next two reviews of the IMF deal will pass through political uncertainty ahead of general elections due later this year. 
Moving on, the U.S. State Department Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel said on Wednesday that U.S. officials will meet Taliban representatives and technocratic professionals from key Afghan ministries during a visit to Doha this week. Envoys Thomas West and Reena Amiri will meet the Taliban delegation to discuss humanitarian support for Afghanistan security issues, women's rights and Afghans' economic stabilization. Patel firmly said that the meetings hour do not mean any kind of indication of formal recognition. United States, we have been very clear is that we will uh, engage uh, with the Taliban uh, appropriately uh, when it is our interest and in our interest to do so. Uh, this does not. Uh, this is not intended to mean any kind of indication of recognition or uh, any kind of indication of normalization or legitimacy uh, of the uh, of the Taliban. Uh, the Afghanistan, the egregious human rights abuses that the Taliban is undertaking, their marginalization of Afghan uh, women and girls, uh, all of those things, and a new, and 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 uh, and many others, continue to be of immense concern to the United States. Well, Nepal's parliament on Wednesday witnessed a high voltage commotion by opposition lawmakers over the recent seizure of at least 100 kilogram of smuggled gold in Kathmandu. Accusing the government of shielding the culprits, lawmakers demanded resignation from Home Minister Narayan Kaji Shrestha and Finance Minister Prakash Sharan Mehet, claiming they are not fit for the post after the latest scam. They also asked for high-level parliamentary committee to investigate the matter. Department of Revenue Investigation had confiscated eight cartons containing smuggled gold in form of cargo package that arrived from Hong Kong. While the federal agency was able to arrest about one and a half dozen people, the person at the top of the string remains anonymous. <laughs> This is the first time I have been in the world. 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 I have been the world. I have been in the world. I have सरकारले यो विषयको छानबिन गर्नका निम्ति उच्च स्तरीय छानबिन समिति बन्नु पर्यो संसदबाट उच्च स्तरीय छानबिन समिति बन्नका निम्ति सहमुख जुगबाट रुलिङको समेत हामी माग गर्न चाहन्छु सभामुख महोदय and Bangladesh's foreign ministry on Wednesday summoned top diplomats of 13 foreign missions stationed in Dhaka days after they issued a joint statement over the assault on an independent election candidate, local media reported. The 13 embassies, which included the U.S., Britain and European Union in their statement, had condemned the attack and called for a free fair and peaceful election in the process in Bangladesh. Expressing displeasure, Dhaka termed the joint communique as undiplomatic behavior and advised ambassadors to refrain from such actions in future. The diplomats were warned that by passing the government and behaving devoid of neutrality will create a crisis of mutual trust, news agency UNB quoted Deputy Foreign Minister Shariar Alam as saying. In past few months, Western governments have raised concern over the election process in Bangladesh However, PM Sheikh Hasina's administration has termed it as foreign interference in the country's internal issues. And after a gap of more than three decades, the Shia community in India's German Kashmir on Thursday took out a massive Muharram procession on a traditional route in Srinagar city. Hundreds of mourners took part amid tight security arrangements as the authorities had granted a two-hour window for the procession on the route that passes through the busy Lal Chowk area. The procession had not taken place since 1989 in the backdrop of law and order situation in the region. Muharram marks the death anniversary of Imam Hussein, the grand Anson of Prophet Muhammad. The Shia community around the world marks the period of mourning with prayers and grand processions. We yeah, thank you to the administration and Honorable Lieutenant Governor, who at least uh, considered that there is an emotion, a uh, majority here. We can say that the Shia population is here. I also say that when the order came at night, people were asleep at the night. It was at 6 o'clock, but at 12 o'clock, people were starting to come to the night. And you can see how many people have come to Kashmir and have come to Kashmir. And for the Imam Hussain, they have come to the same time. And there is a message, which is a message of peace, a message of unity, a message of unity, a message of unity, a message of unity. मैसेज है एक प्योर सैक्रिफाइस का जो मुहर्रम के महीने में इमाम हुसैन के जरिए हम पूरी दुनिया को देना चाहते हैं वेल दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन विल सी सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज़ बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ एंड व्यूज़ फ्रॉम इंडिया